What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and CreateSpace. A link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled Why Black Men Need Standards. I'm going to talk about society, between each other, and with our women. In general, including those three, as a group, we looked at as a group that has no standards. So in society, we need standards in general with all these groups. Uh, we need to verbalize our standards and stand on our standards. Because <clears throat> collectively, other groups make people pay financially or um, with, by force. Our collective isn't like everybody else's, so we are a lot of individuals who are, who are strong individually. So if we're going to do anything collectively, we have to make sure, you know, we have to start with, with us as individuals. Like, look, the standard is you're not going to talk to us any kind of way. You know, that should be a, a standard across the board. You don't need money for that. You're not you're going to talk to me with some respect. If you don't talk to me with respect, and I'm freak, and I'm dealing frequenting your business, I'm not going back. You just don't get my money. You know, we need to be deadbeat customers. You know, this is why we need standards. We need, because when we deadbeat customers, all of a sudden, the money gonna dry up. When the money dry up, oh, you want to be friends? Too late. We can put that, we could use, we could save some of that money and create our own stuff. This is why we need to have standards. Uh, we also need to have standards because, you know, because people feel like they could say and do whatever, they get arrogant when we tell them as individuals, no, you can't. See, we don't want to admit that be, as a group, we looked at as a group without standards, so... Society tries to bully us as individuals, and when we say no, they really lose their cool because they feel they, they they react like, but I'm supposed to be able to bully you. I'm supposed to be able to hide behind my position, my network, my job title to do you in, and you're just supposed to take it. And if you don't let me, I'm gonna make your life a living hell until you bow down. Well, this is why we need standards because at, at that point it's like, well, okay. This, I mean, part of the camera phone era and recording people is really about that. Like, you're going to pay up for this because we got standards. That's why we need standards. You know, we got to make people start. We need to have standards because people need to pay for their uh, arrogance. You know, and when, when people get accustomed to paying for their arrogance, which I slowly... St actually do start seeing that trend because as much stuff as we put as put out in the in the social media you still you start to hear more and more of these stories of people getting fired people getting sued people getting paid people going to jail that that standard as you you see this up down influx of people still trying to do it and then and then on the back end like taking those sad pictures afterwards uh, we need standards with each other because, you know, first and foremost, I should have started with us. We are disrespectful to each other because we look at each other as not having standards because some of us who don't have standards want the rest of us to not have standards. And when you rogue like that, you got to, you, you know, we got to be, we, we got to um, excommunicate those deadbeats from our uh, society You know If you can't be honest If you can't be real um, If you don't bring anything useful to the table If you're a taker, if you're a user You gotta go Those are the standards You know You're not gonna get help Those are the standards You know That's why we need standards Because we've been dragging a lot of guys uh, Around this dead weight in our community Because what winds up happening is 
they feel like they can run to the community one way or other because we don't want it. One thing we don't admit is that we have more power than we 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 um, we we show or say because even when black women have money and resources. A lot of the time, their actual money comes from black men in some way, shape, form, or another. And whether it's the money directly or, or being able to, to have money saved up to give to someone because we make people comfortable, whether we marry these people or we're in relationships with these people or their family or this, that, and the third. We save a lot of people money. So we have to pull up to... This is why we need standards because as much as we do, we never... We let brothers get away with too much. You know, that's why brothers feel like they can say and do anything. And, you know, amongst us as men, we know the deal. We know, say and do the wrong thing, see what happens. You know, but we got to start uh, having standards across the board even so people can see, like, yo, yo, oh, you're going to be exiled too. You're going to be excommunicated too. You're going to be out there on your own too. You can blame the world and the women all you want to, but truth be told, you know, we need standards to get rid of some of these busters. Because some of y'all just are dead weight on purpose. Um, and why we need, you know, and it and it and this helps us in the long run. You know, it helps us in the, when we when we have our standards up front. It helps us in the long run. I should have said that in the beginning too. Because this goes in general, like when we have standards and everybody knows it, they won't do things to us collectively. You know, they won't do things to us as individuals because they know collectively we have a protocol we're going to follow. Now, with the women, that's why we need to have standards. Because part of our issues with women is that we don't, we're not stating our standards with and up front. And... When you don't state your standards, you can't complain that your standards didn't get met at the end. You know, we need to state we have weight standards. We need to state we have attitude standards. Like, if, 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 if you got a bad attitude, you know, you're on your own. Now, we do that quietly because a lot of these single women who are single and, and, and desperate and thirsty and need attention is because... They've dealt with bl black men who had who stated their standards, and they said, "Well, I didn't have to meet your standards. I could find another man who doesn't have any standards and be whatever I want to be." And for you brothers that stay silent, I get it. But the thing about it is, a lot of those women do what? They come back, or they complain about all these other guys who they say ain't, they ain't s i s h i t. Yes, I was tripping. Uh, who they say are not are not anything, because it fits the narrative that we're not we're, we're no good. But when we state our standards up front, if you it changes the whole dynamic because what happens is you don't uh, you don't get to say you fit the standards and expectations. Um, and a lot of times, that's, that's, it save, it'll save you time, effort, and money if you state your standards because a lot of women go, oh, you know, I've met those women. Oh, no, I ain't, ain't going to do all that. Okay, well, bye. Have a, have a nice day. And, you know, that, that saves you a lot. Um, and one of the biggest things... Uh, with our women in particular, is we don't expect much of them. I know they 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 say how strong and independent they are and, and how they're the backbone, but truthfully, we don't. You know, we have an issue with our women because we don't. We have very low expectations of them, and because we have very low expectations of them, um, they don't do much. And part of the femininity is because they don't have to respond like a woman would for a man who's actually doing something, you know. That's the part about other people, other groups of women being better able to reciprocate 
is because in their culture, it's pretty much part. It's still part of the culture that it's the expectation that you uh, say say thank you, be appreciative, and reciprocate at some point. If you don't, it all goes left. You know, it it, it stops. And the one thing that we don't do as a group is we don't state that. You know, we 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 follow the same protocol, but we don't state it up front. To the point where there are successful men who could give, who can provide great lifestyles and protect women, but they're so accustomed to men not verbalizing their standards, they act a fool with those guys too. And then they wind up uh, blowing that situation and trying to to scramble back to those type of guys after they've realized they have nothing, uh, that they've pretty much uh, blown it with their best chance at getting a a homemaker type life. So um, this is my video on why black men should have standards. Uh, we out, y'all. Y'all take care.